Centenary Bank has this morning found a hard time negotiating when one of its clients demonstrated that the bank's main head office is at Mapera House in Kampala. Aine Winji John, a resident of Chibale district, alleges that his building worth 180 million was confiscated by the bank after his failure to repay a loan of 30 million Uganda shillings. Alongside his family members, Aine Biona stood at the main entrance of the bank demanding a compensation of his property worth 10 million that was in the building at the time of the confiscation. <laughs> Aine Vinji says that after his building and all his property was confiscated, feeding his family has been near to impossible. He has further expressed his disappointment in the manner Centenary Bank treats its customers. <laughs> Alan Ayebale, the spokesperson Centenary Bank, admitted the fact that Ainevinji is their client and she promised to handle his case amicably. He is our client from Chenjojo branch and it's true he took a loan and uh, also upgraded to giving his property in case he defaulted. But concerning his complaint today, this morning, we've set out an investigation and we hope to reach a fair outcome. While on their knees, Ainebiona and his wife requested the President of Uganda to intervene regarding this issue. <laughs> Similar cases have been registered on several occasions regarding banking institutions confiscating their clients' property when they fail to service their loans. This report has been compiled by Dennis Kato for Channel 44 Television.